So two important elections here. One we've just had, Thanos, one coming up. Let's talk about the EU poll first. Interestingly, uh, because the UK eventually will be, won't be involved, um, at least theoretically, what do you make of the big win for not just the Brexit party, but the two parties that have a really clear stand on in or out? I think that's uh, the, the key point here is clarity. I, th I think the people have uh, really been fed up with, with the uncertainty which has prevailed, and hence the two parties which are giving the clear message seem to have been at, at, at the forefront. Uh, but there's no really surprise in terms of the UK developments from, from the Brexit party. Um, I think the Liberals did come as a, as a surprise, but, but not the Brexit party in that case. What do you make of the uh, PM contest shaping up right now? I think we know that um, Hammond won't be taking part, but Boris Johnson seems to be, at least among the Tories, a favorite to win. I think, I think that Boris uh, Johnson is the clear favorite by far. Um, I think it's going to be a pickle for the, for the Tories. One scenario is that uh, Boris does get the, the leadership. He goes, towards, uh, so he goes to Brexit, calls for another opening of the renegotiations. On being rebuffed by, uh, sorry, by Brussels, being rebuffed by Brussels, he comes back to the houses of uh, Parliament, comes back to the UK to call for a no-deal Brexit. Uh, this is unlikely to pass through, triggering a general election where Corbyn, in my view, has a very high probability of, of coming in. That's scenario one. Scenario two, which would be a, a potential compromise from Boris, uh, being nominated leader, goes to Brussels and seeks for a two-year delay in the exit. During that two-year period, he could potentially find technological advancements to um, put together a customs program which avoids the backstop. If that were to take place, then he's likely to stay until 2022. Is Thanos, is a Corbyn government worse for the UK economy than a hard Brexit? Well, I think that Corbyn government, uh, the uncertainty that the Corbyn government would, prepare, would prevail could be worse than the hard Brexit. It depends whether Corbyn government would be a clear majority Corbyn government or not. We still do not know as much about the economic policies, but the uncertainty there, certainly within majority government, would be quite significant.